Hello guys and welcome back to the Let's Play series of Design Your Own Mission Mod. We're playing Jimmy Leopard's Edge of High Life Chapter 3, I think it's 3. Uh, mission, I forgot the number, but mission called Roger. Either Roger or Roger that, or it's a name, Roger. We'll find out. Let's do this. Roger. A few moments after Thomas got to the Jefferson's Motel. This is an inconvenient place to talk. You dragged me to this hotel and now you came to this roof. Now who the fuck are you? My name is Roger. Haha, <laughs> I was right! And what the fuck do you want with me, Roger? What I want from you is to do one job for me, Mr. Jenkins. Want you to and your team to kill Cesario Camo, the Alcamo family leader. If you succeed, I will personally hand you two hundred thousand dollars in cash. Just like that, huh? You gotta be kidding me. It's crazy. I'll take a pass. Unfortunately, that's not an option, Mr. Jenkins. If you refuse to do it, every crime family in the city will know your little secret. You, they will know about your ripoffs. Oh yeah? Then I'll kill you right now and make the problem disappear. Don't be stupid now, Mr. Jenkins. I have an accomplice working with me on this as an insurance policy, so if he doesn't hear from me ten minutes after we talked, you will reveal your secret. Put the gun down, let's be civilized. Why me and my team? Because I think you're probably the only ones capable of making it happen. And why do you want him dead so much? You're hired to do a job, Mr. Jenkins. The reasoning doesn't concern you. You have one week to do it. One... What? Hey! He just left! Motherfucker! Try to open the door. <laughs> I can shoot the door. That doesn't, does not work. I'll try to open the door. Fuck! You locked it! <sighs> now I'm stuck on this roof. Oh, wait, there's an exit. Yeah. Scott, where are you? At the back side of the hotel by the stairs. I'm coming down then. Hang up. So what happened? Hmm, how can I explain this in short? We are fucked! Perfect explanation! Relax, just tell me what happened. I might just buy a grave and relax in it now, now so I don't have to worry about it later. Just tell me what happened, man. Alright, alright. Gosh. Such a bitch. Name of the guy who arranged this thing is Roger. He didn't tell me his last name. He has an accomplice that they want us to do a job for them. They'll pay us too. What is the job about? Getting our asses handed to us. That's the job. They want to kill Cesar Alcamo and they are willing to pay $200,000 for it. Oh, and to make it impossible to top of the impossible, they're giving us one week. I wanted to kill him, but then he said his accomplice knows about our activity, too. His accomplice wasn't there? No, that's why I had to let him live. If we don't do it, they'll reveal they're be we're behind the ripoffs to every crime family. We're done either way. Stop being so negative. We'll call the guys first. We'll see what they say and we'll go from there. Alright, man. Proceed to your house. Sure! Next morning in front of Scott's and Thomas' house. Come on, Nate, Nate sent a message to come to this place now. Oh, for the love of God! Oh, for the love of God! You're not, you must be joking. Why can't Nate come to us? There! Why? I, I asked it. I asked it. I was hoping I wouldn't have to ask, but I did. Why am I even going here? What the hell am I doing? But 
I have to ask, why can't Nate come to us? God! You know what, I'm just gonna imagine that Nate is like Lester from GT5 and he's in the wheelchair. That's what I'm gonna just imagine and that's why he can't come to us. You know what, to be honest, the saber is fucking hard to control. Half an hour after Scott and Thomas got Nate's house. To be honest guys, I'm not surprised with uh, what you told me about that Roger guy. There's a lot of people who ain't happy about uh, Alcamos being ammunition owners. Ew. But regardless, Roger's situation puts us in a very tough spot. I don't think there's a legit way of us getting out even close, even getting too clo close to Cesar. Not with the things as they are now, and not without at least one of us getting killed. Then how do you think we'll survive even a day once the Roger reveals everything? And that question brings us to the reason why I called you all here today. Last night I talked with my informant from the Takahashi family I scheduled. He told me some interesting things, so... Since we can't get to Cesar on our own, especially not within the time Roger said, there's another way we can maybe make it happen for us. How exactly? By continuing with the plan we're following now. Ripping off the Takahashi family and provoking a war between them and Alcamos. If that happens, the Alcamos will need to get Cesar to safety somewhere. Once that happens, we'll have to make sure to follow them to wherever they go. And once they think it's safe, ambush them. I like it. The only question is, it can it be done within a week? Well, I have a lot of, in of info if from my, my informant left about the Takahashi. Uh, I'll see if I can come up with a plan where and when how to strike them by tonight. Hopefully, I'll see you tonight, gentlemen. To be continued! Well, there we go. Chapter 3 of Edge of High Life. There it goes. Like always, we're gonna have a break. Each, each, each chapter. Anyways, I'm enjoying this quite well. I like the whole heists and stuff, ripping people off, I mean the families, uh, you've done really well, Jimmy Leopard, I'm proud of you. Thank you guys for watching, and thank you, bye!